What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here and welcome back to another specialist guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new 11th Specialist Zero for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now Zero specializes in hacking and disruption by taking control or destroying an enemy's piece of equipment. She is a very tactical specialist that can be used effectively towards the middle or the end of a game. Now sadly there is no specialist mission for her. so. So I don't really have a backstory or any information on her. Definitely later on I feel there will be some sort of a mission or some cutscenes that show her. Um, but yeah, currently in this build, it does not have a backstory. And also this build does have a lot of people upset because I'll admit she is very, very OP. However, I do expect there to be a nerf to come out, which I'm going to discuss later on in the video, along with a breakdown of her abilities, equipment, tips, and more. Like I said earlier, Zero's primary goal is to disrupt and just really bother the enemy team and with her EMP disruptor, she definitely does cause a big disruption for anybody who's hit within its blast radius. Also you are going to get 10 plus score for every enemy that is hit with the EMP which leaves their HUD display disordered and jammed for 5 seconds and within that time you cannot see your minimap, the score for the game, how much ammo you have, pretty much everything on your HUD is just disordered and also you cannot activate your specialist weapon or equipment for that duration. Something you want to keep in mind also is the EMP nade will affect you through walls. The EMP also has a powerful effect on any piece of equipment in the game. Pretty much everything that gets hit by the EMP nade will be destroyed. Um, the barricade is one exception however the damaging effect for the barricade does cancel out for as long as it stands. Now as for other counters the trophy system can be an effective counter because it does destroy the incoming EMP nade. However, you can counter that counter by tossing the nade on a parallel wall or something that can go in between the trophy system. It does take about 1 minute and 8 seconds to fully charge up this piece of equipment, which is pretty dang fast and definitely causes havoc to any kind of traps or defensive lines your team may have set up. Now for the score streaks, the EMP will either disable a streak for a short period of time or they just get completely destroyed as long as they are not the aerial streaks of course. The RCXD car pretty much just gets its boost feature disabled. The sentry gun also gets disabled for as long as it's on the map. The drone squad gets destroyed and the mantis becomes disabled only for a few seconds but after that it's functioning normally again. The strike team is just completely immune to the EMP so do not throw the grenade at the team and that covers all of the ground based score streaks. Pretty much they just either get destroyed or disabled uh, pretty much. Um, the aerial streaks like I said the gunship, the UAV, all of these streaks are just non-existent because the EMP simply will not reach them. So do not try to throw an EMP at a UAV or a gunship because it's simply just not going to work. Next up for Zero Specialist ability, she carries a portable computer called the Ice Pick and on the computer screen are categories for the items that can get hacked, destroyed, and finally all the players are going to suffer a pretty annoying effect to their HUD display. So. On screen I'm going to have a list of everything in game for each of the categories that are affected. The items in the hack section are what can either be controlled and turn against the enemy team. The destroyed section are for the items which are going to be destroyed once the meter fully completes. And finally the player section are for all players on the other team which have to deal with a disrupted HUD display which is pretty annoying like I said. And as you can see their minimap shows the red dots which can confuse a player into thinking there's an enemy player shooting at them. Their health bar also fluctuates making them think they're taking damage. You can also lose how much ammo you have in your gun. Plus during this time you are not able to bring out any specialist equipment, abilities, score streaks and on top of all of that you only have one chance to heal. So if you're using your syringe and then you take damage again, sadly you're not going to be able to heal yourself until the ice pick effect is over 
which as of now lasts for 30 seconds and this is why I feel the character is insanely overpowered. You know, it'd be okay, sure, if you cannot bring out any specialist ability score streaks, equipment, whatever, but the fact that you cannot heal during this entire time is just absurd to me. Plus, you basically just do not even have to really play the game at all. You can take control of some of the best score streaks in the game literally for just existing in the game. So this character definitely does need a slight nerf. I feel the time also needs to be um, lowered by at least like 15 or 10 seconds. Every team should always have one zero player because of how amazing her abilities are for not just the player but literally the entire entire team. Developers, I love that you're bringing new characters to the game and sort of changing up the meta, but please, a character who can destroy or take control of a score streak that another player on the other team worked so hard for, just because she was able to play in the game for a few minutes, just should not belong in Call of Duty. That's insanely ridiculous. But again, I definitely feel Zero is going to get a nerf real soon here. The community is uh, really voicing their opinions. I feel the same way as well. So again, a nerf should be coming very soon here. Now, lastly, we're going to be talking about some effective counters. So the best specialists to counter Zero are either Ajax or Battery because both have equipment and abilities that cannot be hacked. Plus, if you run the Tactical Mass perk on your classes, then you, for one, will negate the EMP effect on your HUD display, plus the time for the confusing screen effect for the ice pick gets cut in half, so it's only going to last for 15 seconds. If you run that with one of the two specialists, essentially your arsenal is nearly immune to getting hacked, however, your score streaks are not, plus you still suffer from the effects of the ice pick, but... In general, Zero, insanely good as of now, is the best specialist in the game. But tell me your thoughts about her down below in the comments. Also, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.